What do you say? Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. That's the fake That's the Sexual immorality, that's true, but what else? Because it's very specific. It says, Thou shalt not lie with mankind as thou lie with womankind. For real? For real? That's the teacher. Give me uh, Leviticus 20 and 13. Bring it out! I'm preparing the way of the Lord. Dodging these boys. So we are gonna get our people to repent. Our brothers gotta realize they're the mightiest thing that God put on this earth. And it's time for us to leave. Both who take a soul, stand it fast in the faith. People need me, so I can't fall. We try to elevate. Enoch or Elijah, or the Messiah. Keeping commandments, not try baving fire. You filthy if you full of sin. The kingdom you won't enter in. Such a bloody scene, why she make it clean? For the husband comes to clean. These but women I'm are saying, tired of eating. Rest, so I'll make it plain. Messiah coming only for the elect. You better walk circumspect on the highways and hedges. Purging that spiritual house of all left. They think the tired, they arms are tired. Brothers, where you at? How you doing, sister? What's her name? Makisha. I know you got a fly. You got a. Come over here. Come over here. Have you ever heard this information? Bring it out, huh? Stand up. We we out here for you. We out here for you. We out here for our brothers. We out here for our people. We want you to learn the Bible as it is written. She want to know about the image. Yes, sir. You have questions about the image? I just didn't know that he was black. You didn't know he was black. You know that's in the Bible, right? Give me that. Number. Give me that. The book of Revelations, chapter 1, and start at verse 1. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 1, verse 1. Read out. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must surely come to pass. So the Bible says that this is the revelation of Jesus Christ. The root word of revelation is revealed. So this is the revealing of Jesus Christ. Jump to 10. Verse 10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet saying, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. So the Bible says that this is the, this is the prophet John saying he was in the spirit on the Lord's day, meaning he was keeping the Sabbath day holy as the scriptures explain to us. So read on. And heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. So he heard behind him a loud voice. Basically, same thing that you all are hearing right now. You're hearing a voice as the sound of a trumpet on the speaker. Read on. Verse 11. Saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what thou seest, write in a book. So the instructions that he received as he, as he turned around to see, it says, what you see, write it in a book. So this, that lets you know this wasn't no vision. He was actually seeing something. Read on. Verse 12. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. So now you see on the image right down here, it's showing a depiction of that. He says, so when he turned to see, he saw seven golden candlesticks. That's what you see behind the image right here on the uh, right, well, on your left. Read on. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. So he's telling you, he ain't seen no angel. He said, I saw one like unto the Son of Man. Letting you know, this person looked just like us. Read on. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. So it said the clothing that he had on was similar to what you see the young men or the, us have on here. A garment that was down to the foot. Read on. A girt about the paps with a golden girdle. So he says, gird about the past with a golden girdle. That's what you see around our stomach, our stomach growing area, not growing area, our stomach area is our belt. Read on. His head and his hairs were white like wool. 
So the head is talking about the hair on his head, and his hair is talking about his beard. It says it was white like wool, like you see in the image on the picture here. Read on. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. It says his eyes were as a flame of fire. When you look into the Bible, it's because he drunk wine. Because if you know anything about the Bible, his first miracle was that he turned water into wine. Well, we know that that turns the white of your eyelids uh, red. Not that he was a drunkard and he was walking around getting drunk. He just drunk wine in moderation. Read on. And his feet like unto fine brass. And his feet like unto fine brass. Sister, what, what color is brass? Brown. Brother, my brother here. What's, what color is brass? Brown. Brown. What color is brass? Would you agree? So we see it says that his feet like unto brass. So are your feet the same color as your face? They may be a little bit lighter because your face get you you, in the, you exposed to the sun. Yeah, like sister, sister feet, her feet the same color as her face. And, and same thing, right? Right. So we see this is an actual depiction of how Christ looked. This is not him in his glorified body as you would hear in the Christian church. No, this is an actual depiction of how he looks. Because remember, an eyewitness account of how Jesus the Christ looks. That's right. Out the Bible that most people say they believe in, but they've never seen this. Why? Because the Christian church is lying to us. The Christian churches are lying to us. Read on. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. Okay, so now it's even more descriptive to how he looked. It says, like fine brass, as if you burned it in the furnace. What color is anything that you burn? Dark brown. Dark. If I, if I had some white rice and I burnt it, what color is it going to turn? Black. Black. It's going to turn, it's going to be very dark. So this lets you know that Christ was a very dark man. That's right. He wasn't like, he didn't look nothing like this that you see in most Christian churches. If you grew up, your grandma, your aunties, all of them had this image on their wall. That's false. That's the image of the beast. That's Caesar Bourget. Teach. Who was, paint, who was painted and placed to deceive us and lead us astray. To make us not think that this Bible has anything to do with us. Even though that image ain't even in the Bible. Right. Right. Bring it out. Read it again. From, read that part again from the top. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. So that tells you that many, as you see it says, his voice as the sound of many waters, along with that. Christ is a black man. That's right. So that's a powerful thing for you black men hanging on the streets. This, that's not the life to live. Bring it out. And then it said, read the last part again. And his voice as the sound of many waters. And it says his voice as the sound of many waters. When you see a lot of our men, they don't speak with, a, with confidence. They don't speak like they have authority. They speak with a quiet, monotone language. Why? Because we've been beat down. We've been beat down through slavery. We've been beat down through the life that we live. We are discouraged. Why? Because we don't know that we are the greatest people that stay, step foot on this earth. That's, That's right. right. This is our book. This is our history book. The Bible is. And let's see what our history books say. De Deuteronomy 7 and 6. So now we know we know that the Christ is a black man according to the Bible. That's right. So that, that's a, that gives you an identity to identify with. Let you know that you are great. Get Daniel, Daniel 7 and 9. So we want to show you. We know Christ was, we, we were made in the image of God. So let's see what God looked like. Read on. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 7 and verse 9. Read on. I beheld to the thrones were cast down, and the ancient of days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and, his, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. I beheld. So the thrones were cast down. So this is the prophet Daniel giving an account of the Most High God. He said, I beheld, I mean, I looked, and the thrones was cast down. That's talking about Judgment Day, when these nations that have brought us into captivity, when these, these nations that are suppressing us and oppressing us are destroyed. Right. Read. And the Ancient of Days did sit. It says the Ancient of Days. Anything that's ancient means it's, it's existed before anybody, anything else. So it says the Ancient of Days. The person who existed before days was. That's what it's saying. Read. Whose garment was white as snow. So it says his garment was white as snow. 
What that let you know? If he had a garment on, he had a body just like us. Yes, sir. This is talking about the ancient of days, which is the most high God. Read on. And the hair of his head like the pure wool. Sound familiar? Let's read that again. And the hair of his head like the pure wool. So the most high God got woolly hair just like us. Yes, right. The hairs of the most high God's head are like pure wool. Yes, right. This is the Bible. Like your Afro puff. The sister got an Afro puff. Very good image of it. It says the hair of his head like the pure wool. Let's read that again. Read it, call it and read it. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 7 and verse 9. Bring it up. So let let you know this is the Bible. This is the Holy Bible. Daniel chapter 7 and verse 9. Read. I beheld to the thrones were cast down, and the ancient of days did sit, whose garment was white as snow. So the ancient of days sat. Let you know he had a body. He had a butt to sit down in a chair on. Teach. He had a butt to sit down in a chair on. He's not no, he's not a mystic being that's floating around and watching over us. That's what's taught to us in Christianity. That's false. The Bible, this is clearly coming out of the Bible. Read on. Whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. So Christ looked just like the Most High God, his father. He had white, woolly hair. Just who has the woolly hair on the earth? We do. The so-called blacks. We have woolly hair, just like our father. Because we was made in his image. And as we just read in Revelation, Christ looks the same way. Why? Because he was made in the image. He is the exact representation of the Most High God. That's right. So we got to clear our mind of all of the falsehoods that we learned coming up in our life. Because we were taught lies. We were taught lies. We were not taught the Bible as it is written. So you, you have a better understanding of this picture, sis? Yeah. You believe in the Bible, right? You have any other questions, sis? You sure? Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.